Rufus? Did someone steal Isaac? Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Now Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. They purchase 90% of the products in the boxes from small businesses, many of which are based right here in the United States. Just like the Forge Box, it's Damascus steel knife made by Buck and Bear Knives in Pennsylvania. You kind of go through the website, pick out what you want, and you can preview everything and decide if uh, that box is for you. There's like tons of different options to pick from. And you can pick whether you want to get that box that month. You can delay it a month or say, hey, I'm going to hold off this month and pick it back up next month. It's totally up to you. So every box has about $70 worth of products, retail value, but you're going to pay just a fraction of that. Now, let me show you what all I got this month. Okay. This first one right here is the wet box because, well, as you can see, I've been sitting out here sharpening my knives on a farm in the country, whether you hunt, fish, farm, knives are invaluable and the wet box is a good way to keep all of those sharp and a good place to store everything. I also got what they call the slash kit from Bare Bones. It comes with a big, nice sheath It'll hook on your belt. Look at this thing. It's like a samurai sword. <laughs> Not really, but perfect for keeping around the campsite, keeping around like our off grid cabin for trimming up trees, trimming up bushes. I mean, this thing's got a lot of weight to it. You could split kindling with it. Um, take a you know small log and shave off your kindling to get a fire started. You could debark logs. So many different things we could do with this. And then the third box this month i haven't even really used this haven't opened it because i've been waiting this is for houston this is a very special gift for houston um, i'm gonna wait until he gets out of school today by the way is houston's last day of school uh, him and emily both last day of school for the year and this was a surprise for him i picked this one up i'll just tell you well it's called the split kit just wait till houston gets here so like I said earlier, Bespoke Post is a great way to support small USA companies and get a lot of cool stuff. I mean, what man, what man, boy, but man wouldn't want some of this cool stuff. So to get 20% off of your first box, go to bespokepost.com slash armsfamily20, or just go to the link in the description box. And when you check out, use armsfamily20 as the code, save 20% off your first box. I've got some really, aggravating bad news so i'm back over at the youth camp where we brought rufus and isaac it's been about about a week look at this little goat he doesn't like to stay in the pen a little bitty pygmy goat rufus's buddy now he stays right there with him he's in here usually but he can kind of snake out and come back in but i got a problem and i really put off making this video because I didn't want to, have to tell you guys this so we brought Rufus and Isaac over to this youth camp to put in this lagoon pen this lagoon pen goes way over into that tree line over there and there's a lot of grass for a couple animals to graze and I've brought goats over here for I guess three or four years during the summer for a few months and then I bring them back and so we brought Rufus and Isaac over here and Rufus has been an incredible major big hit with the campers. But Isaac, so we brought him over here, dropped him off. My friend, the friend of mine that runs the camp was here and his kids and everybody was, you know, oohing and on over both Rufus and Isaac. Left him here, went home. That evening, he came back over, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes, an hour before dark. And... Isaac was gone like not in here and this is sheep and goat wire four feet tall all the way around this the little pygmy goat that's here 
the pygmy goats are like water. If your fence won't hold water, it won't hold a pygmy goat. But Isaac was a giant Kiko with huge horns, and he's like nine years old. Well, the very first day, Isaac went missing. And he texted me a picture. He said, hey, I, 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 he called me, and he said, hey, I got a problem. I can't find your goat. And then he said, I don't know where he got out. The fences are all up. There's no fences down anywhere. Everything's tied up. He said, but there is a ladder over the fence where I climb over to get to my pump. And I said, send me a picture. Well, here's what he sent. I said, there's a really good chance Isaac went right up that ladder and out. Now I'm torn. The more I've thought about it, I'm like, man, Isaac's nine years old. How likely is it that he was able to climb that ladder and jump out? Is it possible? Yes. I absolutely think it's possible. I don't know if it's likely. But Isaac got out and I said, listen, him and Rufus are buddies. Him and this guy right here have been, they've been friends for a couple years. Well, I said, don't worry about it. He'll probably come back before dark. Goats always come back to their barn or whatever structure or back to their home base basically at night like this little goat never leaves well i didn't think a whole lot about it the next day he called and said isaac never showed up well it's been over a week and here's the thing this is a youth camp there is a road out here but on the other side of that road is a seven foot tall high fence about maybe about a hundred yards into the timber this direction if you go a quarter of a mile you hit a lake a huge lake that this whole camp sets on so where did Isaac go now yes it is thick there's a lot of thick brush out here so could Isaac just have gotten out gone off into the brush and been over there just eating a hundred yards into the brush and you couldn't find him absolutely that's what I thought for the first couple days but this is a very very busy youth camp this time of year he told me there are over 300 kids at this camp all week this week if there was a goat out walking around like this little one is right now look at this little goat if there was a goat out milling around especially one that has three foot wide horns on his head that curl around like some big exotic creature someone would have seen him Someone, by now, out of 300 campers here, someone would have seen Isaac walking around. There's no doubt. There's trails all through this place. Rufus, can I get by you, buddy? I'm going to slide by you. I want to go show these people what I'm talking about. Now, I'm really kind of worried about Rufus, but in the same sentence, I'm not. I, I don't know. Let me get out of here. So this youth camp has, you know, roads and trails there's a trail that goes off that way to some cabins a trail goes off that way to some cabins there's a big cabin right here this trail goes all the way down to a museum and a whole bunch more cabins so what i'm saying is if someone or if if isaac if, if there was a goat running around out here someone would have spotted him by now now right on the other side of the lagoon right here is a road and we live in an area with a lot of, uh, let's say, rednecks, country folk. And Isaac looks like a exotic animal that someone would see. Someone would pay a lot of money to go to an exotic hunting ranch and hunt. See where I'm going with this? Well, with 300 campers here, I thought, well, if there was a gunshot right here at this lagoon with cabins in every direction all around us, someone would have heard a gunshot so there's only one other possibility really rufus hey rufus why are you walking away from me i have a question rufus did someone steal isaac someone come in here and get him that's literally pretty much the only conclusion we can come to is someone drove by here and saw a goat with giant horns 
Isaac's got really bad front knees and he doesn't really get around quickly. This guy, I can walk right up to him. He's pretty calm and gentle. But around strangers, people that he doesn't know, no. Rufus gets some distance and he can move quickly. Isaac is pretty hobbled up in his front knees. I think someone came in this road, drove right up to this gate and stole Isaac. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Isaac could have just climbed that ladder, gotten out and disappeared off into the timber. It's possible. But after a week, I think someone would have seen him. So I'm a little concerned about Rufus. I don't have my livestock trailer right now. I've loaned it out and it'll be a little while before I get it back. So I brought a couple game cameras. So I'm going to put out some of my cellular game cameras on some trees around here close probably up high in a tree maybe something like that and i'll just i'll just leave these cameras pointed up in a tree pointed down towards the gate that way if someone comes in here and comes in that gate i'll get pictures sent directly to my cell phone because i don't want to lose rufus i think i mean i don't know what do you what do you think that isaac climb that ladder hit the trees take off and just never come back possible because this is not home to him we took him from our barn and this is a new place so he may be in the woods looking for home he may show up there in a week we're only about two miles from my house but i just had to tell you guys isaac is gone we've probably lost isaac forever and i feel horrible terrible because we're just bringing him down here like i said in the last video or the last time we had when we showed him dropping him off just brought him down here for summer camp and uh, i don't want rufus here alone which he's got the little gray goat that little pygmy goat stays in i've been over here two or three times and uh the pygmy goats usually in the pen with him and they're kind of buddied up so at least he's got a friend over here but uh i don't know maybe just maybe isaac will turn up somewhere but i doubt it so anyways it's uh it's getting close to uh three o'clock houston gets out of school today like i said in the beginning of the video last day of school i brought his surprise i'm gonna give him that little surprise from bespoke posts when i pick him up then we've got to go get haircuts we're gonna stop and go get some minnows to feed his bass because they went through all of that minnows from amazon in no time we're gonna go to the bait shop get about five dozen minnows probably kind of button down the hatches get everything done because we're gonna be gone for a few days we're going on a trip not going to tell you guys where you're going to have to wait the videos following this there'll probably be a few videos because this is a big trip so uh got a busy rest of the day summer struck we didn't get hit by tornadoes we got hit by summer it's 90 degrees today so i'm gonna go home after i get all get houston and haircuts and all that stuff and uh, feed his fish and get everything ready to go my wife's sister is going to be staying at our house for four or five days while we're gone so we got somebody to take care of all the animals but i need to have everything prepared and ready so anyways maybe isaac will show up while we're gone go on track today last day of school mm -hmm. sad you sad got medals yeah had field today dang What'd you win? Uh, 50 meter and team. Well, last day of school, give me knuckles. Hey, technically you finished the year with all A's yeah. on your both semesters, all A's, right? Mm -hmm. What'd you have on your head? Tattoo on your face? Uh, no, it was paint from. <laughs> Where's our sunscreen that you ran off with? Oh, shoot. I don't know what the teacher did with that. Well. All right. It don't matter. Well, I got you a surprise. Oh, Last day of school, and you finish the school year with straight A's. Got you a little surprise. I had a. Mm. This was from a sponsor video, so it's called Bespoke Post, and this is the uh, the split kit. So, going into fourth grade, got you a little surprise. 
Be careful. The thing is razor sharp. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now I can make my fort better. Make your fort better? I can chop them trees better. Look at this thing. This is a serious hatchet, man. Yeah. This thing ain't playing around. No. A company called Bare Bones. Well, I've heard of this company before. Have you? Yeah. I've seen ads of them. Yep. On YouTube. We got to go get a haircut. Yeah. Go get some minnows for your fish. Oh, yeah. And uh, do all our chores. Yep. Put that thing away before you cut your toes off. I am. If I can. There you go. Four dozen and a few dead ones for your turtles. Alrighty, we made it home with some fresh new haircuts, some minnows, and look at the pond. I don't know if it comes across on video, but it's uh it's looking pretty clear. You know, I was I went back and I looked at some videos from last year, Houston, and it was like it looked like a swimming pool last year. It was so crystal clear. Yeah. And I thought, man. I wish our water was that clear again, but if you think about it, really, it's not supposed to be that clear and clean. This water is crystal clear, but what you're seeing is is a year's worth of just life in the water. Yeah, there is some fish manure and stuff, but like around the edges where there's a little bit of algae growing and the rocks have algae growing on them, you know, that stuff's supposed to be there, so... The water's crystal clear. It just doesn't look like a swimming pool <laughs> like it used to. Hey, I also brought out a couple tomatoes for Houston's uh, turtles and his uh, tortoise. So we'll see if they want to eat in a minute. But I say we see if that bass will eat a minnow out of our hand. What do you think? Yeah. You look tired. I am. Wore out. So you had, last day of school, you had track half a day and then y'all played like water games outside yeah. the other half you look like you need a nap buddy i do gotta get that paint off your face I know. the sun zapped you today didn't it well let's see if we can catch us a minnow we brought home a bunch of dead ones just to feed the turtles too and i said just give us the dead ones instead of throwing them away all right Mr. Bass, where you at? Come eat a, come eat a minnow. I dropped him. I didn't mean to drop that minnow. Get back, Bella. There's our bass. I see him over there by the goldfish. Oh, dang! Them minnows are slippery. Oh, got him. Nailed it, didn't he? You grab one and drop it in there, and I'm gonna try to video it. Drop it or hand? Just well, if they'll, if you can hand feed it, if they'll eat it out of your hand, let's do that. The two bass have been eating a bunch lately. They're slippery, though. I will tell you that. See if you can hand feed that bass. Where's he at? He's right in front of you. He's right there. Just let it go and see if he'll come get it. Oh, it hid. It went behind the filter. All right, we'll see if we can get a reaction strike out of these bass. <laughs> I grabbed the dead one. The live one got eaten instantly. We'll save that for a turtle. Here, we'll set this one right there try to grab three or four and just throw them in from where you're at i can see them pretty good over here where's he at right in front of you oh he nailed it yep. just 
toss him in. Oh, he's after him. He's hungry, isn't he? He's dead. Oh, that guy got, got away with that one. Here comes a bass swimming right at us. He's right there. Is that the big one? Yep. Oh, there's your big bluegill. Oh, he just chased that minnow out from under that rock. Yeah. I wonder. Oh, he missed. <laughs> I tried to feed the bass and he missed. All right. I know that bluegill's under this rock. I'm going to see if I can get him to come out. Here he is. He don't want to eat that big worm. I mean, that big minnow, does he? He was eating worm. Oh, there he got it. You got it? See it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he let it go. Oh, the bass got it. Man, them bass just eat so much. It blows my mind. All right, fish got their bellies full. We're going to feed the turtles next. That <laughs> turtle was on the run. This one right here loves eating earthworms. I've been feeding it some big old worms. Hey, right, Dad, look at him and see if he looks any more pregnant. It did not want that one. Get them all out here. Let's see if they'll eat these tomatoes. They may not be hungry. I fed them like six or eight worms yesterday. Big old earthworms. Gosh, that thing's so big. Yeah. Just for the age right now. Here, you want a tomato, buddy? Tomatoes and fresh minnows. Maybe not fresh, but... Well, they're, they're freshly dead. Yeah. That one's still flopping, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if he eats the tomato or the fish. Or just back up a little bit so they'll eat. Tomato. Yeah, they love those tomatoes. That one's used to us, just what, used to us watching him out here. Yep. Now well, let's back up and see if the others lead, okay? Yeah. That little one's not a big fan of public eating. He likes to eat in private. Well, we're going to let the turtles eat. So, you guys saw we put a thousand ruby red minnows in here. I don't know when that was. It, by the time this video comes out, a little over a week ago, they last, what, four days? At least. About four days, and they were gone. So these are just bait store minnows that we buy locally. So we bought four dozen, and uh, they're a lot bigger. They're about three or four times the size. So that ought to keep them, keep them entertained. Look at that. Oh, oh, I missed it. That tadpole looked almost like a fully developed frog. Where? It just went under that rock right here. Here's another one. Oh, that one's got legs too. Come here, buddy. Oh, I missed him. Darn. Where'd he go? Well, most of our most of our tadpoles have developed and and got away, got out, which is what we're wanting. I mean, we're not trying to keep them in here forever. Let's see. Oh. They're hard to catch. I know that. There's two right there. Two big ones. And then there's two. Yeah, right those don't have, those aren't as, as developed. But they just climb up that hose and get out. Is what they do. I guarantee it. This one doesn't have fully developed legs yet. It's just starting to get some back legs like a little frog. See there? Too bad they're not bullfrogs. I mean, it could be. I don't know. They I don't know what kind be. of frogs they are. They might be. Turtles are fed. Fish are fed. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, actually, let's go check on your tortoise over here. Buddy, did you have to crawl past all the rest of the tomatoes to get to that one? You're picky. So I put one of our little solar lights in here because I thought, well, if it attracts a whole bunch of bugs, I know that the box turtles eat bugs and stuff. So if it attracts, you know, June bugs and moths and things, they'll die in there. But uh, the tortoise, he much prefer, prefers the vegetables. So 
In other news, our other project in the backyard is almost complete. Oh, yeah. Has nothing to do with your fish, though. Yeah. So we used to have a deck right here, guys. Um, it rotted. It was falling through. We had a hot tub that set out about right here. One thing we had on our house when we did this add-on years ago was an outdoor shower. And it was all wooden. I built it myself. And, um, you know, after 10 years, it was it was time to go. It rotted out. Uh, they got their ladder in here right now. Hang on. So our new outdoor shower is not quite complete, but you kind of get the gist of it. It's going to have some uh, smoke colored like greenhouse panels on the roof. And then in between these, so from about neck height to knee height, we're going to wrap it in probably cedar or something. But uh, it's actually got a drain, which just really just drains out on the ground. But if you live in the country, and you don't have an outdoor shower, you're missing out. Yes. Turn her on. Oh yeah. We just need, need a new shower head. Yeah, we probably put a, a different shower head on there. Houston and Emily want a rain flow shower head. So that may be something we do pretty soon, but it's coming along. And uh, redid the stairs. We got a new set of stairs that go up into oh, look, look, look. DJ in my bathroom. Yeah, the drain works. Water's running out the drain. So it's not quite finished, but it's coming along. We'll get there. And uh, it's been a, I don't know, taking about a week or so. I've got a couple guys that I hired, local guys, that are working on it for me because I am not a concrete person whatsoever. But this lady likes to take a shower out here after she mows my grass for me. Get that right? I do. And uh, I was telling them our last outdoor shower um, it got a little dangerous. It did. Had to watch where you stood. But it lasts like 10 years. Yeah. Because this guy's going to be 10 in August. Mm -hmm. And we got the hot tub when you were pregnant with him. And that was when I built the shower. Yeah. Not too bad. This one? Oh, we're going to have a sliding barn door on it, by the way. I didn't say that. It'll slide back over the wall. So we should be good. Outdoor shower should be good for years. Can you tell he's tired? He's wore out yeah. today. <laughs> he is. So what are you up to? I water my plants. You're so happy you wet your plants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I've got to uh, get my chores done and feed oh and water gosh. everybody. Look. <laughs> That's probably that one that that uh, bluegill had a hold of. It's missing a head. Or did you bite his head off? <laughs> Ew, no. <laughs> So anyways, got to get my chores done. We've got plans. It's actually uh, Weston's birthday. Weston turns 20 tomorrow. Yeah. So we're going out for dinner. Now Weston wanted sushi for dinner. Ooh. Whatever. We're going to go to the hibachi place. I'll eat some chicken fried rice. You eat sushi. Don't act like you don't like sushi. I'll eat a bite or two of sushi. I don't go to a restaurant and just order sushi. Like if, you're, if we're going somewhere, I'll be like, oh, I'll eat a bite. It's not a meal to me at all. Well, if you get enough of them, it's a meal. Yeah, okay. Chicken fried rice. That's good, too. Yeah. So, anyways, um, long video, a lot going on. Isaac, um, the I don't know. Isaac's gone. I, I doubt he's ever going to show back up. Could he have climbed out the fence, left on his own, and just disappeared into the woods? Very possible. I think probably what's more likely is he climbed over that ladder, got out, and someone gathered him up and took him home. That's what I think. Yeah. Someone probably stole Isaac. It's very sad. After four years of having goats in that exact spot, nothing has ever disappeared. And he disappears on the first day. Not it's what I had planned for summer camp for Isaac. No, it's a bummer. The next several videos... You're not going to want to miss. Trust me. You're not going to want to miss because I'm not going to tell you where we're going or what we're doing. But uh, there's a good chance DJ is going to be enjoying herself on a beautiful island somewhere. In the sand. Yeah. We surprised the kids and told them. Yeah. Well, you basically just so, about the answer. We're not telling you where we're going to be, but by the time you see this video, we'll probably already be back, actually. So, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. From an island somewhere. <laughs>